The defendant, pot pie. The plaintiff, shepherd's pie. Shepherd's Pie alleges that Pot Pie has stolen his recipe. When two food items have a dispute, they choose to settle it here in our forum. The Food Court. All rise for Judge Todd Moore. Thank you. Please be seated. Uh, I've read your uh, recipes. It seems that uh, Shepherd's Pie, you contend that Pot Pie has stolen your recipe? It seems to me that you two are, you have the same last name for goodness sake. It seems to me another frivolous food action. So my decision is, what? Pot, pot pie says we have security camera footage from the kitchen itself. Maybe this will shed some light and we can get to the bottom of this before I rule on this frivolous action. Now let's see if this uh, security camera footage sheds any light on this situation. Uh, here we've got some saute pans, just I guess getting them hot. In the meantime, oh, we've got a bowl here with some flour, salt, pepper, and chicken cubes. Dust the chicken cubes in flour. And now another bowl of flour, salt, and pepper, and beef cubes in this one. Dredge the, oh, this is getting more interesting. Pans are hot, a little bit of water on your hand will show that, and what's this olive oil? Just a little bit of olive oil in each pan. That'll help us conduct the heat. Uh, swirl the pans around. Cover the whole bottom of the pan. This is food court procedure. And now up back to the beef cubes in the pan with the oil. Very interesting. And now in the other pan, oh, the chicken cubes. Side by side, the two of you are. Witness this. The security footage is showing all. We'll brown the beef cubes, just toss them in the pan. Hey, look at that flour and fat forming in the bottom of the pan. That's starting to look like roux to me. Chicken cubes, same thing. Brown them, toss them in the pan. Huh. I wonder how these dishes will be different. Oh, onions, well only one of them will get onions. What? Both, both pans get onions. And now carrots. And both pans get carrots. What's this? Celery, too? And exactly the same thing in both pans. You two are much more closely related than you think. Beef cubes, onion, celery, carrot. Chicken cubes, onion, celery, carrot. This is looking very similar. There's something smelly about this. Beef broth. Ah, the beef broth will combine with the flour and the fat, the roux. That'll make a very nice beef gravy. And chicken broth will do the same thing for the chicken pot pie section. Just some time. Oh, different seasonings. That'll be the same seasonings. Thyme and sage and salt and pepper. Checking the thickness of the sauce. Coats the back of the spoon for the beef coats the back of the spoon. You're the same! Now, the chicken in a pie pan. The beef in a pie pan. Hmm. The chicken gets covered with puff pastry dough. and the beef with some mashed potatoes somebody left around since last night. This is a ridiculous case. You two are exactly the same. Order, order, order in the food court. That security camera footage has blown this case wide open. It seems that everybody's got a video camera these days. Anybody can have a show, it seems. You're the same thing. You're the exact same thing. Your last name is the same. You're both pie. And beside the fact that one's beef or lamb and the other is chicken, well, it's the same thing. It's braising. Coat your protein product in a starch that leaves roux. Roux in the bottom of the pan. Don't you get it by now? Thickening agent than any liquid you'd like. 
any liquid will make your gravy. I can't possibly rule in favor on either of them because I would open a wide range of class action suits. We'd hear from seafood chowder. We'd hear from anything that was thickened with roux. Case dismissed. Frivolous case. Frivolous lawsuit. Case dismissed.